I'd like to look at the understanding of anchor loads when we've got a single mass suspended in a two-point anchor system. The first thing we should do is divide the system in half. So I'm just going to draw a line straight down the middle. And by doing that, then we can assume that we've got 50% of the load suspended from this side and 50 from this side. Let's ignore units and just say that the total weight of the load is 100. So now I've got 50 hanging on this strand and 50 units hanging on this strand. And that directly correlates to 50 straight off this anchor and 50 straight off this anchor. These two strands of rope here are slack, so we've got zero tension holding each anchor to the side. So it's just straight half of the load applied to each anchor. Let's have a look at the next slide. And now I've got my anchor points separated from that center point. However, I'm still going to start by saying I've got 50 of my load suspended on this side and I've got 50 suspended on this side. So it's just straight down the middle. How do I now work out how much tension I need to have applied in this strand to hold the anchor to the side? Once I've got that worked out, I can also work out how much tension is actually in this anchor strand. With this anchor point here, this floating pulley, there are only two forces being applied to it. One is half the weight pulling straight down and the other is the tension in this strand. So what I can do is draw a triangle using these three lines here representing the forces that are applying in the system. So I've got 50 pulling straight down. Now the length of this one here is going to be equivalent to the magnitude of the lateral force being applied in this rope or the tension being applied by this suspended mass. And looking at this, we'll see that, that it might be a little bit longer, but let's say it's about the same magnitude, so it's 50 and that's 50 down. This one here looks like it's going to be about 75. So in, in this scenario, for 100 suspended on the system, we're going to have 75 units of tension in that strand and 75 in that strand. We've still got the 50 straight down on each anchor, but we've got the 75 in the anchor strands. Let's go to the next one. This one should look familiar. That looks like 120 degrees up there. So our rule of thumb tells us that if we have 100 applied here, then that means we should have 100 on this anchor and 100 on this anchor. But why is that the case? Again, let's divide our system in half. Draw a line straight down the middle. And now we're going to say that we've got 50 on this side and 50 on this side. Coming up here to my anchor point, that equates to 50 down here. I'll just work on this half of the system. Now, I've got a lateral force pulling this way. How big is that? Well, I need to complete this triangle. So that's a horizontal component parallel to that being applied in that direction. And that leaves us with this component here which is the tension in this anchor strand. Now, if I've drawn this right, that length there, so it's actually from that point, that length there, if I translate that length to coming down here, it's about that long. It's like a part of a circle with at the center of the circle. So that would be 50, and then there's another 50 there. So now I've got 50 plus 50. So that total length is actually 100. So that confirms, looking at the vectors if you like, that this 100 is actually correct, so I've got 100 there. Let's have a look at one final example. This time it's even tighter. Again, line down the middle. We've got 50 on this side and 50 on this side, which means we've got 50 pulling down on this pulley here. And now if I complete this triangle again, because I want to work out what the lateral component pulling that way is, well, let's complete this triangle so that it comes across to there. That, those two lines are parallel. That means I've got a force pulling this way. And now I've got my tension in this strand here. If that's 50 to there, from there to there, there's another 50. So now for that 50, this now looks like 150. This might be something like 125. So what we've done in summary is when we've got any two-point anchor system, one and two, we can divide the system in half 
and then we can put half of the load on each of those anchors. So I've got 50 on this side here and 50 on this side over here. This anchor point can only have horizontal forces. The forces aligned with the tension in the anchor strand and the horizontal forces pulling it back way, back this way. These three forces must all cancel out because that pulley is not moving in this situation. What that means is that if I draw a complete triangle here, then each of the sides of, these, of this triangle correspond in magnitude to each of those forces. That was 50 down. We worked out that that's about three times the length of that. So that was 150 in tension there. And here looks like maybe two and a half. That's 125 units of tension in there. So there's a different way of looking at anchor loads for multipoint anchors with suspended loads.